Gun Terror Raider, I think, is a new Quagsire in it. Nice. You can call it Clodsire now. Now that I know what it is, and I've seen it, it's fair game. It's just like... Just, it was just not wanting to know until I'd actually seen it myself kind of thing. That's why I was getting so, so frustrated. <laughs> but, but the rocket ship. We don't have a rocket ship. Ba -da -dum. I forgot the spelling. Oh, <laughs> I guess there's a bunch of new Pokemon for us to learn. Into the tree. Scammed again. Man isn't here. We can have rocket ships without him. It's fine. Run, 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 run. I'm trying to keep my eye out for uh, for shinies as well. It's difficult when you don't know them all. Run with the Stantler! Meow. There's a Fletch uh, Fletchinder there. So I think it's like up here. It's a terror raid then. Yeah, yeah, it was around about here somewhere, wasn't it? Oh, is this skip plume? I thought there was a green hop ip. Ah, oh, scammed. <laughs> it's not gonna let me up, is it? Oh yes it will. More regular colored skidoo. Another skip plume. Alright, where is it, Rocket Man? Uh, not Rocket Man. Ramen. I did it again. It's here. Yeah, see, we can't get up, up there. Wait, no, that's where we were before, but there's Bound Suite. So it's like here. No, I was meant to mark it on the map. <laughs> it's here. Which is over there. Maybe the Bound Suite. That's how we get Bound Suite. You know, I, I think, was it Whitney? I think you said it was Bound Suite on the map, or maybe Neo, which you were trying to clear out to get the Bound Suite. Maybe that's how you get it. You have to smack him on the head with with uh, Koridon. We did it, Raman. We did it. We found the thing. There's an ominous black stake driven into the ground. Will you pull out the stake? Honest? Absolutely. When you pulled out the stake, it crumbled and vanished. We, we did it? That's a, uh, that's a Vigoroth there. I ended up finding a Bound Suite in a, in a Fire Terror Raid then. Oh, cool. Cool. A, a Fire type... Lilligant? No, not Lilligant. Serena. Uh, did Callum get his games? He didn't. Um, it, he's borrowed it off a friend. <laughs> uh, while he's waiting for his to dispatch. Uh, he's going to be playing it tomorrow. Well, at least we got a little bit more of a new area to explore. Although I don't want to. Look at that. Look at that vigor off go. <gasps> Dun -dun! Oh, he's gone. No, what? What do you want? You scared him? He just started sinking into the ground. I was like, oh. There's a tarantula down there. I want. I want to get Dunsparce. All right, lots of Hopip here, so let's get uh, let's get Bub to do a little bit of killing. Off you go, Bub. Enjoy. Leave me alone, bird. Leave me alone. The dealing here. Oh, the poor dealing. Oh, the horror. The humanity. Oh, what, why are you angry? Why, why are you upset? Poor Bubba. Hope that didn't ruin your chance at something. I don't think so. If anything, Ramen, I think it's going to be some type of collectathon. 
I think it's going to be you have to you have to collect a bunch of those things hidden around. Um, I've kind of got a theory that it's the Zangus here. It's something to do with I don't know if you can see it from here, but we came across this thing yesterday. A, a, like a big lock on the wall, and which was that sort of ominous purple color. Um, so I've kind of let's go see it again. Kind of got an idea it's to do with that. You were there for that? Yeah. I know, it's, it's got that same purplish color to it, so maybe that you have to like collect a bunch of those in an area. Um, and then you unlock whatever this is. So I wonder if collecting that one has changed it. Hmm, looks the same. Nope. Paper magic is carved into a shrine. Herein lies sealed the ruinous tablets. Yeah. So I wonder, like, if we get all four of them, maybe it pulls out the, the chains that are sealing it or something. This is a cool thing. I like it. All right, Bub. Oh, Bub's, Bub's a little bit tired. Okay, right. Now, let's make it to that town. <laughs> Stop getting distracted, Dazza. Never. Uh, I'm actually going to go to the Poker Center so that we can heal up. Bum, 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 bum. No worries, Tudor. I just got a, a message from Tish. <laughs> oh, dear. If only. If only. I want food. What time is it? Five o'clock? It's Pizza Saturday. I've got a thin crust meat feast today. Still in bed tennis soon. <laughs> well, it's still early for you, isn't it? Your mountain zone, right? Which is seven hours behind. So 10 a. Okay, never mind. You know, sometimes weekends are for chilling. 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. Look, Dad, there's something shiny. Wait, where? Cloth. Growlith. God, I hope we get a shiny soon. One month till new kitchen. True! Is it the... Oh, it's the 19th today, isn't it? Gotta wait till the 20th. The, um... The kitchen fitter that the landlord found... Um... I'm not a big fan of him. He seems a bit like... He, he seems unreliable, I'll be honest. And he still hasn't gotten back to us with, like, a, a quote. So can we go in here? No. Interesting. Wish they had Blastoise. They'll probably add him in DLC. So we're pretty sure this game is going to get DLC. And I'm also pretty sure they'll add the Gen 1 starters. They're adding Charizard in raid battles soon. So I, I don't think Venusaur and Blastoise will be far behind. Bum, bum, bum. Goodness knows I went back to bed after spilling coffee all over my desk. Oh no. <laughs> Sometimes it's just better to go back to bed. Looked like an elevator shaft. Paid DLC? Probably, yeah. Almost definitely. They did it with Sword and Shield. Part of me hopes that the DLC will be available for like the, uh, the online plus subscription users, but I doubt it. But only because Hylian added me to his family plan for the, for the online plus subscription, so I wouldn't have to pay for the uh, the expansion pass. <laughs> oh. Pokemon DLC is expensive. Oh, oh, it's a it's a Pokemon. We we ascertained that this guy evolves, didn't we? So let's get another one. Extra story arc. There should be. Okay, we killed it. Never mind. There should be. The DLC, I think the DLC for Sword and Shield was worth it. It was kind of pricey, but I think it was worth it. <gasps> we made it! Ah, uh, yes, the slideshow windmill. <laughs> I love it so much. It's terrible. We found the other type of Oricoco here as well. Right down this hill. Guard spec. Oh, Drifloon! 
wonder if Lava's found Drifloon yet. Got Murkrow? Drifloon! It's like a clock gear. Yeah, that's, um, people have been criticizing the game quite heavily for that. Things that are very far away, the, f the frame rate of the, the, the graphics updating are very slow. And then as you get closer and closer to it, they get smoother and smoother. So, like, it's a little bit better now. As we get closer, it's a little bit smoother. And as we get closer, uh, and then as we get closer, there we go. Nailed it. <laughs> ah, perfect. Nothing's the matter. Odo Pormi is almost on par with Imolga. Really? Oh, we've got, uh, Florges. We've got vending machines. We've got a new town. New town to explore. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that's a big swimming pool. Oh my goodness. It's raining. This is probably the, the worst weather. There's a windmill here. I like how your character reacts to the rain. Like, and as you start running forwards, you shield yourself from the, the rain coming. That's that's cool. I like that. What are you selling? Ice cream? This is not the right time to be selling ice cream, I don't think. Is it good? Delicious. Uh, guys, it's raining. What on earth is this? The Harvest. A work by Brassius. Coffee? And churros? Churros. Oh, I thought it was coffee. They had coffee on the side. It's like a little playpen here. Oh, this looks cool. Hell yeah. Can I climb it? Hell yeah. Let's go. There's a kid up here. Hi. You're a skiddo. It's so cute. It's kind of cute. It's a cute skiddo. I guess we are children as well in the game, aren't we? Oh. 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 Sunflora. Sw a surrendering sun for a work by Brassius. What was your weakness? You can't swim either. True. Of high places, I heard outside of town there are big, tall t uh, watchtowers in some places. Yeah, just like Breath of the Wild. The harvest, another one. Okay. Can I just jump off? I don't want to have to climb back down again. Nope, apparently not. Oh, there we. Okay, we can jump off. Yeet. I love a playground like that. It's huge. It's fantastic. Nice view from up here. Uh, and then that kid says, uh, Wow, so high. Okay. Uh, Yayit. No, I just wanted to jump. Nope. There we go. We scoot off it. Then how do we scoot off that one? Can we not scoot off this one? Oh. Is there a slide? Oh, there's, there's an item over there. Let's go get that. Uh, help, I've been playing since yesterday and I can't stop exploring the area around the very first box stop. I'd love to go at least get to school, please. Skill swap. A Brassius original. It's... Okay. Uh, bookworm, you have a problem. I'm afraid I cannot help you with it. I... I was holding down. Oh! Shortcut. Parkour! <laughs> okay. Looks like we can't go in here, but there is something around the back. Perfect. <laughs> Just jump over the f fence. Super potion. Okay. See another glowy? Oh, that's a terror raid then. Never mind. Can we go over here? Please? Let me in. Please? Pl please? Nope. I made it to the area near the school myself. Uh, still didn't go into the school. Way too much to explore. I spent a good maybe hour and a half yesterday exploring the town before going to school. 
check it out. Check out my cyclers are. We're going on all sorts of uh, journeys together. Can I can I steal it? <laughs> it's kind of cool that they like uh, you know cyclers are is small, so they fit it out with uh, like a saddle, whereas Coridon is big lad. No. Oh, I wonder. I wonder if Cyclazar is related to Coridon or Miraidon at all. This is the... This is a different Pokestop. I'm gonna have to go to Explorers Anonymous meetings. Okay, so it looks like all of the stores... Let's have a look. To Baratos! Yeah, they sell the same stuff. Oh, that's such a shame. I was really hoping that... You know, I kind of got it in the, in the big city where they just reuse the same shops in different places. You know, it's just to help you get the different things at easier locations. So you don't have to go from one end to the other. But... It's kind of a shame that... Oh, go for Broke Grill? Yeah, they sell the exact same stuff at the exact same price. Oh. That's a little bit disappointing. It means that there's less to explore when you get into a town. That's okay, though. I'll be... A little bit disappointing, but... Is this coffee shop? A little bit disappointing, but there's so much to explore in this game already. Alright, chat, let's do it. Let's get our first gym badge. Every time I convince myself to move on, I find a new Pokemon. See, that's the thing with me. I'm like, I don't want my team to get overleveled, but I also want to try leveling up new Pokemon and seeing if they evolve. See you in detention. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's bright in here. Ten-year-olds can't have coffee. Yeah, they can. Oh, hey, Dazza. I uh, came to see the gym, huh? I can only mean one thing. You're out to earn some gym badges and take on the Pokemon League, aren't you? Yes. I knew it. I'm so glad I asked you to do it. They can, Whitney. Whether they should is another thing. True. True words. I love overleveling and making the bosses easier. <sighs> Polka? A little bit, yeah. Uh, you gotta pass uh, the gym test. Every gym's test is different. I'll ask the lobby staff about it, they'll tell you what's up. Have these. When you use them, consider me... When you use them, consider it me healing up your Pokemon. Ah, oh, I won't need them. Thank you, though. Ah, so glad you're aiming to be the champion too. This is the best news ever. Man, I'm so excited. I can barely stand still. Because I'll just go battle every trainer I run into. We got a little shroomish. Is it sleeping? Night, night, shroomish. <laughs> My poor Quaxley. I've noticed lots of students passing through here these days. Has the treasure hunt started? Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome to Artisan Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Dazza, yes? Think of me next time you battle. Great. Now, in order to face the gym leader, Brassius, you'll have to pass the gym test. Here at the Artisan Gym, that means completing a game of Sunflora Hide and Seek. As you may know, Artisan is a city of artists. The artwork made by the people here is largely inspired by nature and the sun that nurtures it. Since Sunflora embody these concepts, we try and gather them and take good care of them. Your job today is to find a sunflower located through Artisan. Remember, these Pokemon look like sun-shaped flowers. Gather up ten of them and bring them to the Sunflora lawn and you pass the test. Register the Sunflora lawn's location in your map app so you, uh, to get started. You leave the gym, turn right, and you see two large Sunflora statues. Head for those. 
Once you're at the lawn's entrance, the staffer there will tell you more about the gym test. Well, get out there and have some fun. Hide and seek! She did say right, didn't she? <laughs> ready to gather up Sunflora? Yes. Hi there. I look after the Artisan Gym Sunflora. Hope you're ready for Challenger. It's time for a Sunflora hide and seek. Go ahead and ask the Sunflora to spread themselves out around town. I see you, little guy. Stop it, Ramen. Sounds like the Sunflora are ready for you. With that, your gym test has now begun. Once you've found 10 Sunflora, please bring them back to the Sunflora lawn. That's all for me now. Good luck out there. Right, this isn't much of a test, is it? I want to move, please. Keep... Oh, the music playing. Are there fake sunflora everywhere? Or are these real? Found one! Wait. What? I don't think these ones understood the assignment. And we'll, we'll ignore the fact that they were literally right next to me and I ignored them, okay? That never happened. No, no, no. Where's Coridon? Yeah, chase it down. Gotcha. Oh, do we have to fight it? Welcome back, Tudor. We're, uh, we're hunting down Sunfloras. I think that's to show you what you're looking for. Yeah, and I just turned around, complete 180, and never saw them. Okay, this is kind of fun, though. Running around with a horde of Sunflora. <laughs> this is... I like this. Nah, -uh, nah, -uh, come back! D don't you dare! You're meant to be hiding, not running away. Nope. Can't even send out Bob. Gotcha. Gotcha. Plant Whisperer. <laughs> Alright, Bob. Dazza, head to the Pokemon League with your 10 Sunflora. <laughs> I'm here to challenge the Pokemon League. <laughs> Poor Bob's overleveled. Right, that makes six. Wonder if there's more than ten. And you just have to find ten of them. Seven. They're now starting to get like really choppy. Also, that one was flying. Look at the rules of hard to see. They really don't. They really don't get the rules. Bum, 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 ba -da -bum. Oh my goodness, this... <laughs> I can't help but laugh. Only because I know that so many people are gonna rant, rant and rage about it. But I can't help but laugh at it. Oh, there's one. Alright, nine. Oh dear. Uh, uh, Sheena Fulton, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate you using your, uh, your, your one and only Prime sub on little old me. Thank you so much. Oh, this area is cool. 
I like this area. What happens if I... It's not just some... Oh, this is cool. What happens if I go on here? Are they going to follow me? Well, they're trying to. Bless them. I want the thing. Quick claw. Ooh. Yo, what's up? Bob's the carrot. How you doing? Welcome. I like this uh, boardwalk. This is neat. Like a little uh, elevated nature trail kind of thing. Fling. Alright, let's go back. Uh, let's go back with Gusto. You can't ride Karide on here. Uh, I refuse to agree to that. Alright, keep up, Sunflora. Oh, they're teleporting. Uh, Mikey? Not being funny? I don't think anybody here cares. I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> We did it. We don't pay for Nintendo Online. Check out, uh, seek out the sun floor in Artisan. You passed. Hey. Well done on finding all the sun floor. You passed the gym test with flying colors. Except for Sheena Fulton. Sheena Fulton cares. There you go. Uh, right. Report to the gym staff. Wait, was that the person I needed to talk to? No, we have to go back to the gym. Okay. This new bet game had come out. It's kind of funny that I literally did just say that my, my final time playing Animal Crossing was, was Wednesday. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Interesting. Right. Let's do a gym. Seems you successfully gathered 10 Sunfloor and brought them over to Sunfloor Lawn. That means you cleared the gym test. Congratulations. You're now in the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. The Verdant Virtuoso. Yeah, sure thing. I'll do it. Allow me to show you to the battle court. It's by the windmill, isn't it? Open to learning new games. Yeah. For, for me, I'm just burnt out of it, you know? Time to move on. Uh, I just think that advertising an in-game Animal Crossing event in someone's stream is just a little bit, eh. A bit rude. <laughs> Greetings, Challenger! Really? Humph. Superhero landing! You did well to come this far. I am Brassius, an artist specializing in grass-type Pokemon. I'm also the gym leader here at the Artisan Gym. They're doing the cheering. I was observing your gym test from atop the windmill, you know. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> the perception you displayed in finding Sunfloor was truly... Oh, how should I describe it? Yes, it was truly avant-garde. God, he's creepy. I only pray that you might demonstrate the eye for beauty in our battle as well. Enough talk, we must begin creating our collaborative work of art. Oh, okay. Find a wheel between his legs too. It's a whip. I trust you are ready. It's time for our masterpiece to take shape. Yeah, a boogie! Art is creation and destruction. Struggle, else your defeat will nourish my Pokémon. Okay. Oh, 
I like the trumpets. Very jazzy. Needs a sandwich and a nap. Oh dear. I'm assuming he's just going to send out grass types. Well, actually, I know what he's going to do because we saw it in the trailer. Yeah, that's right, bub. You show him. Let's learn to move work up. Uh, who wants to? Probably not. Not a good idea. Didn't see who it was. Uh, Smoliv, will you switch? No. Incinerate. So I wonder if terrestrialization also lasts a certain number of turns. Or if it's just until that Pokemon gets KO'd. Because that's... That's strong if that's how that works. Pseudo Wudo, will you switch? Oh, a rock type against my fire type. Let's keep our Pokemon in. This is promise, yes. Let us use uh, let us lead this artistic endeavor to its conclusion. I didn't see the last bit. Except we know that he's gonna terra He's gonna terrestrialize into a grass type. Allow me to touch this work up slightly. I'll call it it truly Wudo. It's a grass type. Shock. Who would have seen that coming? Oh, it didn't die. Sturdy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sudo Wudo is finally a tree. A real tree. Truly Wudo. Let's just tackle it. The chorus. It's cool, isn't it? Sword and shield music? A little bit, yeah. A little bit. They took the chanting in from Sword and Shield, which I don't think fits here. Bagel wants to learn work up. No! Who wants to learn bite? No. I didn't see who it was. Probably someone that I don't care about. Are you okay there? Avant garde! 3,060 Poké Dollars? I'll take it. <gasps> Pika Me is evolving! Ah! Okay, he stands on two legs now. <laughs> Let's get my butt out of bed and head out. No worries, Raman. Have a good day. Thank you for hanging out. Oh, electric fighting! When its group is a- Oh, that's cool. Have we had an electric fighting type before? When its group is attacked, Pormo is the first to leap into battle, defeating enemies with fighting techniques that utilize electric shocks. Hello, how do you like this game so far? I've been having a blast. I think I'm only about 10 hours in, but definitely been having fun. Arm thrust. We'll get rid of Scratch. One, two, and ta-da! Pikami forgot Scratch and learned Arm Thrust instead. So Paul Me evolved into Paul Mo. He stood! <laughs> oh, what artistic tactics you employ. The patterns of your moves, the minute details of your Pokemon's performance, everything you did was honed to perfection. Our battle was, in a word, art. Indeed. If we could not call it that a work of... If we could not call that a work of artistry, then nothing else in this world could be labelled as such. I think this is the first fighting electric. I like it. Uh, if I had to judge your work, I would say it passes my inspection. Yes, a pass, without exception. As proof of your artistic prowess, you may have my gym badge. Shall we take a photo as well? But first, let me take a selfie. Cool. Do I get to see any of these photos anywhere? If you possess one gym badge, it will be easy to catch Pokemon of up to level 25 
And those Pokemon should follow your commands as well. <gasps> oh! That's why Wattrol was annoyed at me. To a fantastic trainer such as yourself, I'd also like to offer this, a favorite of mine, Trailblaze. User attack suddenly as if leaping out from a tall grass. The, the user's nimble footwork boosts its speed stat. Interesting. Uh, my inspiration is overflowing, as if drawn from a bottomless well. I'll begin out a new piece at once. You must excuse me. Farewell. Toodle pip. <laughs> OMG Charlotte, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome raiders. Roto, Toto Toto. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let us know what you did today. Thank you very much for uh, for dropping your community off here. If you want to hang around, much appreciated. Hey Dazza, just had to tell you my Pokemon are learning some pretty cool new moves. Be ready. How'd you go at the gym, by the way? I passed. The full lion colors. Yes, haha. -ha. I mean, it was obvious you were gonna pass, but congrats. I'm so glad I encouraged you to take on the gyms. Nice job. Passed me. Okay. I'm training hard too, by the way, day and night. Going all over the place to boot. Falling into your chat with good vibes. Thank you, Charlotte. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for the raid. Zayna! Bought some good people. Ah, we have a, uh, a raid suggestion. Thank you. Appreciate it. Which starter have you chosen? Only the best one. I'll let you make up your mind who that was. I just not noticed the uh, the picture in the top corner here with the greed and stuff in its face with a cupcake. I'm training hard too, by the way, day and night, going all over the place to boot. Thank goodness we've got the map app. Uh, it helps with Tom with figuring out where to go next. Really, does it? Especially in a huge place like Paldea. After all, the path to getting stronger usually has some strange stops and detours. Hmm, speaking of going strange places, I wonder what Arvin's up to. Anyway, catch you later. Hope you know I'm going to want to battle when we run into each other. Have to go now. See you all next time. Bye-bye. Bye, Tiz. Have a good day. Thank you so much for popping in. It's good to see you again. Yeah, I'm sorry, Ozzy. Our raid alert is a bit of a jump scare, isn't it? That was the first gym, yeah. That was our first gym that we did, anyway. Uh, I know that some people are heading off to the west instead to take on their gym challenge. But I wanted to head east because I was more intrigued by the, um... By the Titans. Pasta! Alright, we need to heal up after- Do we need to heal up after that? Yes, we do. We took a whole, like, three hit points of damage. Awful. Absolutely awful. Hello. Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. So I wonder... Let's take a look at the Pokedex and see if Pormo seems to evolve. See what the Pokedex tells us. Your Terra Orb is all charged. Hey, liking the game so far? I'm having an absolute blast. Really enjoying it. Really enjoying it. Pormo. No, that's not what I want to look at. I want to look at number 24. Yeah, it evolves. Number 24 has to be an evolution. Right. Pormi evolves into Pormo, which then probably evolves into Porma. I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's figure out how to evolve that guy. Oh, it's probably going to be a long time until it evolves, though. Yeah, I did it as well, Neo. I did it as well. I wish that the mini-map also locked to north, but the the map being locked to north is is a game-changer. Um, it was kind of disorientating before. Alright, I think I might go for the Starfall Street thing next. Uh, we just have to follow the path out that way. Uh, the only thing is I don't have a good Pokemon, or a Pokemon that's strong against fire types. Ah, I kind of do. Are uh, you playing Scarlet? I have. Uh, I have. I am even. <laughs> I have playing Scarlet. Oh, I can get up there. Come on now. Come on. Come on. You can do this, Coridon. Be prepared for pain. Oh, okay. Uh, no spoilers. No spoilers, please. But thank you for the warning. Guess I can't get to that yet. What if I dash? What if I dash? 
I'm going to try getting as, as far as I can, um, just under my own steam, for those of you popping in from the raid. Um, don't know if you've been playing Pokemon as well, but uh, I'm trying to do as much as I can um, without hints, tips, spoilers. Oh, there's a maze. Yes, thank you. No, it's okay. It's just, uh, there have been some people that haven't quite been as <laughs> as careful as you were. Trash can? Hmm. I like that I can just skip this whole thing. Just jump on the, the hedge and just, yay, maze. <laughs> you actually found your way here? Nice. Almost no one ever makes it this far, so I decided to make it my secret base. <gasps> Chat. Secret bases confirmed for Scarlet and Violet. They're coming back, baby. It's a maze that's cheating. No, 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 it's using my head. Play Pokemon Violet. You're a bit further than me, so no spoilers from me. Ah, no worries, no worries. And if, if you want to if you want to avoid the stream yourself to avoid spoilers, that's totally understandable. I, I completely get it. Alright, I need to head on this way. I think. Now we all need secret tunnels. That would be cool though, um, having secret bases in an open world game like this. And playing with multiplayers, and or playing playing with friends. And that's a shop it. And the shop it's gone. Um, <laughs> playing with friends and being able to like share secret bases. Like, imagine just exploring the world in multiplayer, and just coming across your friends, like, um... Come back! Ah! No! Shrudel! I saw the Tauros! I want to get a bull! I want the Tauros! What are they running at me for? That one's tiny! Baby Tauros. Also, I see a uh, Bound Sweets evolution over there. Which I forget what it is. Does it just? It doesn't just straight evolve into Serena, does it? There's a middle form. I did have a bit of a nap when you played yesterday. I tend to fall asleep when I'm cozy and staring at a screen for a long time. Not a lot of spoilage. My brain brain said teeny. Yeah, I can't remember if it actually evolves or not. It is a free stage family? Okay. Was it a, uh, a Gen 7 Pokemon? That might be why. I don't know. Work up. Attack and special attack. Okay. I think it was first in Alola. Right, that's probably why I don't know that family too well. Excuse me, stay in the ball, please. Black Tauros is cool, I like it. Not quite sure why it's... Haldian form is black, but it's cool. Excuse me. Right, you know what we need? First of all, Bub to not die. Bub, stay alive. Go, Pika me! Do I need to now call him Pika Mo? Shiny Paldean Taurus is white for the contrast. That would be cool. Mac. Right, I'm hoping the nuzzle won't do much because it's a weak move, but they're guaranteed power. Let's go. Now let's get the uh, the Ultra Ball. Yeah, yeet. Tricky little things, aren't they? Watch it be Pank. That would be cool, actually. All right, we got some Tauros hair. Uh, this Pokemon has... It's a fighting type! This Pokemon has muscular body and excels at close quarter combat. It uses its short horns to strike the opponent's weak spot. 
It's also got straight horns. It doesn't have like... Its horns just go sideways. They don't go forwards. Or blue or green. Um... Chat, have I spelt it right? Oh, you can't see, never mind. One second. Yoi. Have I spelt Ole correctly, or do I need to spell it differently? <laughs> Thank you very much for the follow, much appreciated. Ole! Neo says yes. I'm gonna click it then. Fighting type Taurus kind of makes sense, bullfighting. It's cool. I wonder if it evolves. Hold on. Now, I have had... It doesn't evolve. Litleo's next Pokemon. I have had some other spoilers um, concerning Tauros, which... Eh, it's whatever, but... I was curious if it evolved or not. That's Oinkalone. Is that just the... Oh, it's Teddy Ursa. Okay. What on earth is that? That looks like the evolved form of um, the spider Pokemon. Um, what send out? Send out Pikami. Random, but I named my Fuecoco Sport Mode because he's a croc. Oh my god. Wait, I missed what this Pokemon's called. Spidops. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, that's creepy, man. Level 20. Spoider. That was a critical hit, and the power. Ew. Yeah, kind of ew, isn't it? Caught off guard and couldn't move. I don't know how it was caught off guard, but I'll take it. Looks like he's from Futurama. A little bit. A little bit. Alright. Bug's not very effective. Uh, fight it. Let's just quick attack it. Faint. Enderman. I don't want to use, like, anything that's going to be too strong against it. Um, I might use Bagel. Just give it a Tackle or a Lick. Frida from Bug Snacks. Yeah, I never played Bug Snacks. Okay, that's fine. Is it Bug Dark? Just use the Dark type move. Just whittle it down. Lock. Can no longer escape. Oh no! I can't move because it's paralyzed. I like the fact that it's still faster than me, even though it's paralyzed. So it's a speedy Pokemon. Faint again. Damn, it really is speedy. It's creepy. I don't like it. <laughs> Let's great ball it. There's a Tauros in my face. It's right up my butt. Bunker, bunker, bunker. <laughs> now that I remember. Oh, you're slow. Hello, Mama Snow. How you doing? We just caught ourselves a Spidops. Just pure bug type. Clings to branches and ceilings using threads and moves without sound. It takes out its prey before the prey even notices it. I'm going to call him Frida. All right, center boxes. Leave me alone, Tauros. Leave me alone. Na 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 na. That kind of makes me think that Tauros is the Pokemon that um, people kept saying was going to be like the hard stop. Like uh, you'd just get annoyed by them. And right, that goes in the Pokedex. We can move Tauros as well. Tauros is number two twenty-three. I might have to tell Rocket Man to explore this part of the, uh, the map. Mama Snow with the Twitch Prime for five months! Thank you, Mama Snow. Much, 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 much appreciated. Beep, beep. So I might get Nimble on the squad. Maybe it's time to get rid of Pikami. Let's get rid of Pikami. Let's put Bub in the in the part uh, in the box for now we're gonna get fudge 
Fudge is going to be our main battler. Uh, if we're going up against um, poison type Pokemon, or oh, not poison type, fire type Pokemon, I want my ground type with me. Uh, I also would like to. Oh, Cloth doesn't evolve, does it? Uh, so Pinchy's number 2439, uh, so let's put him away. Uh, 789, perfect. What else do we have here? We need to evolve Combi. Uh, Pikachu I'm leaving in this box because he's a special Pokemon. So I don't want to store him in my uh, my living decks boxes. That's what I was complaining about earlier. Right. Yeah, apparently I remember watching like a review. Not like, not like a review, but like a preview. Um, when they were talking about the fact that this is going to be open world. And they were like, yeah, it's open world. But you're going to run into some Pokemon that are going to cause you issues. Um, if you try and go too far ahead or something like that. So I guess it's just these Pokemon that uh, that just aggro onto you. Uh, I wanted to see if I can get a different ground type move. I want to exchange materials for LP. Oh, you can sell materials. That's cool. Making TMs. To make TMs, you'll need to gather up materials from Pokemon and league and earn league points. Or LP. The range of TMs you can make will expand as you pick up new TMs or receive them from others during your adventure. So we got Mud Slap. Uh, can I filter? I can watch. What? You can watch them. Sort by number. Oh, you can filter. There's typings along the top. That's super good. I love that. That's the only ground type one we have. Well, that's not going to be very helpful, is it? I like that. We finally, along the top there, we can finally filter by types. That's super nice. Fire Fang? That's like a good one. I like it a lot, yes. Especially since there's over a hundred now. That's kind of been implied by the fact that there's a zero. There's like, oh, they're all triple digits. Oh, there's a... There's a Pokestop right there. Ether. Some hop up and skip loom again. Oh, that town looks so cool. Alright, chat. I think we made it. No, okay. I thought there was a special one there. Is that not. No, it's not. Uh, we need to run away. <laughs> yeah, that is the VTuber town. We were talking about that earlier. Because um, I saw it from a distance, and I looked at my map to see what it was. Um, wow, we're super close to it, to be fair. And uh, someone pointed out that it's the... That's what, Oh my goodness, look at all... Oh, that poor LeChonk! <laughs> that poor LeChonk! Someone pointed out that it was the VTuber um, gym leader there. That is like four shinies. No, I saw. So what? What made me think it was a shiny is I saw the back of its head was darker, and I was like, "Is that a shiny or is that?" that... Nailed it. Wanna done spas? Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Done, done. Go sleep. I got a done, done before. Now you did your first gym. Can you buy, can you buy like more items and Pokeballs from Pokestops? Good question. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be rough with Fudge, I think. <laughs> Trying to take on the the Team Flare base. Oh yeah, look at the spikes that come out. Go sleep, Dunsparce. Go sleep time. Oh, it's such a shame that I terrestrialize into a poison type. But I much prefer to ground type. Just checking out what's going on around me. Bobby is adorable. Look at the little blobby guy. I love him. Now, he would make a great plushie. 
Bum -ba -bum. All right, we shall leave him in the box. Dunsparce. It creates mazes in dark locations. When spotted, it flees into the ground by digging with its tail. Dun dun. That's what I said too. <laughs> All right, chat. Here's the thing. Did you out stretchy fabric so they can be inside and out? <laughs> Here's the thing, chat. I hate this bit. Wait, wasn't it like 180? Dunsparce, 188. Pokemon number 189. It's a thing. I'll be honest. I had this one spoiled for me. I kind of knew that Dunsparce was in the game, and I knew that Dunsparce got an evolution. And it is one of the biggest trolls in all of gaming history. We found the second to last Pokemon in the Pokedex. I don't know. Um, let me have a look. Um, I think maybe it has expanded because we got Great Balls now, Lily. Well, first of all, I don't know how big the Pokedex is, and again, I don't, I don't want to know. Um, but since the Pokedex keeps going bigger and bigger as you get later entries. Uh, no. Wait, what? Hold on, did mine just glitch? Um. Are you guys seeing this? I don't have the game, so I'm living vicariously through streamers. Well, welcome, Mantike. How you doing? It's broken. It's like, if you skip to the end of the Pokedex, it's showing you entries. It's like showing you pictures of Pokemon. There's one that keeps catching my eye. And it's after Dratini. Hold on. You can press minus, that's okay to say. Oh, for the, the ordering? I know. I do have Gimme Ghoul. Oh, is that the is that the second to last Pokemon in the Pokedex? It almost looks like Duraludon. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I see something to the. Oh no! Well, I guess now we know that uh, Flittle evolves. This is this is spoiler territory. This is leaks. Oh no! What was I doing? <laughs> Uh, when you're not in any menu, press minus. Oh, for the Pokedex! Thank you, I keep forgetting about that. I did know that was a thing. I think I'm just too used to hitting the Y button. Not that I accidentally sold my only quick ball that I found. <laughs> oh no. Bandana, he is doing- Dazza, he's doing spoilers. It was an accident. Like, the, the curiosity got the better of me. Okay. So if we're gonna go in there... We need three Pokemon that are good against fire types. And... Do I have any in my storage box that I could use? Maybe Oinkalone? No, because he's just pure normal. Oh, that's such a shame. That's such a shame that uh, Lechonk's evolution remains pure normal type. Yeah, everything else is too low level. Right. I have a plan. Nom nom nom. What you nomin' on? Wanted ground pig? Yeah. Wait! No! <laughs> no! 
No way. <laughs> Hold on. We have to find one. At that spot the same way. You see, I'm okay with it appearing on the map and being like, you know, oh, this Pokemon's around, because that way I can search for it. Okay, we're going to have to send... We're going to have to... Well, I guess you're part poison type, so you can do it. Um, maybe we can... Uh, <laughs> maybe we can come across one. There's an Oikolone over there that spawned. I'm eating my mother's leftover Chinese. Ooh, wee, leftovers. Leftovers aren't a thing in my household. Mainly because it's only me, and I typically just cook what I can eat. Um, but then I end up eating it all. There's a little teddy bear over there. Right, no, keep going, Quagsire. Oh, so, sorry, Clodsire. So it looks like this Pokemon might be the rare spawn. Um. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm just waiting for one to pop up. What Pokemon are you talking about? Do I show it on the map again? It looks like a Paldean form of Tentacruel. Or Tentacool. Hello, random. How are we? So, my assumption is it's the rare Pokemon of this area. And we've just got to take out some other Pokemon first and let it have the chance to spawn. Agreed, Lily. Wait, you don't like it? It looks cool. I want to see it. I think it would be funky to do a food theme team with Doe Dog and Ham Snuffle and Magic Fish because they eat in the anime. It's hideous. It probably thinks the same thing about you. Don't be rude. We don't judge based on looks. Okay. Be nice to it. I mean, Clod's Eye literally pokes things with its ribcage. It's not exactly a good look, is it? Wait, that Tauros? Wait, which one? There's a lot of uh, Oinkalones around. This one? It's dead. Didn't survive. Botbound, should I get my butt off and do chores? Uh, I have no option but to regrettably agree with you. Oh, rip. I wonder how close this area is. There's another uh, Dundun over here. Maybe it's one of the Pokemon. There it is, there it is, there it is. Toad's cool. <laughs> it's a walking tentacle. <laughs> okay, I don't know. I don't want to kill it. It uses its legs, right? <laughs> oh, I love it. It's so funny. It's also, this one looks pink, and the one on the map didn't look pink. Because it's a new Pokemon, I'm always worried it's going to be a shiny that I just don't see. But it didn't twinkle, so I don't think it's a shiny. It's like Wiglet. Oh, it's true. Yeah, true. It's one of the, the new Convergent Pokemon, because it's got a different name. If it was... If it was a regional form, it would just be called Tentacool. It's called Toad's Cool. <laughs> I was patiently waiting for you to find this monstrosity. What do you mean, monstrosity? Okay, I might risk another tackle. I'm gonna do it. That's a yawn. Actually, that was Poggers and Coggers. Why didn't I think of that earlier? So, oh no. This isn't going to be... Th this isn't a spoiler, okay? Tell me if I'm right here. Does it evolve into Toad's Cruel? I'm, I'm happy to 
guess that and not have it as a uh, as a rhetorical question. I have no idea. Oh, okay. Never mind then. No clue. Uh. <laughs> this is a battle of attrition here. No idea. Well, now we have to find out. Now we have to find out. I'm I'm parafused right now. Noped out the area when I saw it on the map. I'm assuming though, yeah, they, they wouldn't get rid of it. I want I want to evolve it now. I might even use it on my team. What type is it? Let's find out. Toad's cool flaps. Ground and grass? It's a new Torterra? Toad's cool live in muggy forests. The flaps that fall from its body are chewy and very delicious. <laughs> Flappy. I need him. Honestly, he's a ground type. I need him on my team. Um. All right. Gumshoe is very close to evolving. Let's get rid of Jack for now. It's so ugly. Oh, we didn't. We didn't get an entry for two five uh, two four five. Curious about shiny form. It's Pank, Whitney. It's Pank. Well, this one's Pank. Now walk it. <laughs> As if they added this Pokemon to the game. They didn't give me the entry for two five, uh, two four five. Maybe it doesn't evolve. There's a Dunspass over there. I had to just quickly check this because I didn't recognize the coloring. You couldn't get away. Okay. There's a Pikachu over there. Imagine it being like it's flapping time. All right. Let's take it for a walk. It's asleep though. Oh, it's uh, Kamola. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Why is it? <laughs> Why is it so fast? Look at his legs. <laughs> Keep up, buddy. Keep up. <laughs> oh, he's so cool. I love him. He's he's Toad's cool. It's Squidward. Oh my god. It's the legs, man. It's the legs. Oh my god. That is fantastic. Go on, keep up. Oh, there's a Tauros. Quick, Toad's Call, save me. Okay, well, you're not that great there, are you, buddy? Flappy. No, Flappy. Okay, that Tauros is having issues. Can we not be attacked when we're on here? Nope. They are silly wobbly, uh, silly wobbly too, those legs. Mm-hmm. It's Squidward, it totally is. Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm so glad we just came across that Pokemon. So glad. All right, because I saw a Pikachu, we're going to go grab one. Um, because we got given a Thunderstone. So if we can grab a Pikachu or two, we can finish the Pikachu line in the Pokedex. Of course, now we've got to find one again. So there's always that. They're kind of small. Uh, my plan, honestly, until I saw that on the map, I loaded up the map... To go check out to see if um, if there was any sand nearby. That's Teddy Ursa. Because uh, I was gonna go see if I can pick up a Wiglet for the for the gym or for the 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 team star base. 
Squidward before he became old and cynical. It's gotta evolve into Toad's Cruel. They wouldn't have added Toad's Cool into the game and not Toad's Cruel. That is just hilarious. Thunderthang! Ooh, that might be a good move. Um... I can't even tell what Pokemon this is. Oh, it's Flabebe. Okay. A grass type Flabebe. I want to find a sunken Terradan. Sunken. So apparently you can search for raid de it's got the ground terror type as well. You can search for, for raid dens um, of specific Pokemon now. Uh, I'm actually going to switch out. Oh, no, I don't want to. Mm. I got, you see, now I've got nothing to fight it with. Let's fight it with Stuart. Oh, dear. grassy terrain. Okay. You know, I never understood the terrain mechanic in the game before. Not until I started watching Wally the Bandit doing, like, more competitive stuff. And then I was like, oh, it's basically like weather, but on the floor. Thought it was types. Um, I haven't looked at it myself. All I saw was when Hylian was, like, looking online for raid dens, and there's, like, a you can search for certain ones in the menu. Oh! 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 Ouch. Okay, we're gonna die. Floet's wish came true. Oh my god, okay. Well, Stuart's gonna die. Sorry, Stuart. Let's just give it a go. Well, baby is a great name for a cat. Both a person, a Pokemon reference, and you get to call your cat a baby all the time. I like that. I like that. Um, I got an all caps message from CK. Oh, it's a screenshot. What's he sending me now? He's got the game. He's just, well, yeah, you got Will's copy. It's not yours. You're also not playing it today. What happened? I wasn't looking. Stuart Flittle dead. Did I actually hit it? I did. But it restored its hit points. Okay. So this isn't going well. I guess I could just hit it with Bagel, but Bagel can't really do anything. I hope I hope we get Bagel to evolve soon. If it evolves through some weird method like being baked by a fire type, I'm gonna scream. Oh, this is gonna take a minute. Stop using grassy terrain. So I don't think we c The grass dissipated from the battlefield, thank goodness. Alright. I don't think we can catch it until we've removed the terrestrialization, can we? So I guess what I could do, I could tail whip it a bunch. Stop using wish! <laughs> please, please knock its crystals off. Thank you. Grass Terra type Floet. Oh my god. Right. Setting out the big guns now. It's time for fudge. <laughs> It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Oh, that's less fine. That that could be a problem. Send it to sleep. Ah, so there were rumors that sleep was going to change to be like it was in Drowsy in Legends Arceus. And it looks like that's not the... Stop using Wish. Looks like that's not the case. Oh my goodness.
Looks like sleep is still the same, which I'm not a fan of, I'll be honest. Is it even worth catching this thing at this point? I'm going to throw one Pokeball. If it doesn't go in, I'm just going to run. I don't think it's worth... I, I don't have anything decent to take, like, do damage to this thing. And we caught it. Okay. Fudge does need a poison move. I should check the TM for that, because I checked for a ground type move, but I never checked for a poison type. Floet, the fairy, the single bloom Pokemon. This Pokemon draws forth what power is left in its withered flowers to make them healthy again. It holds a red flower. So I'm going to call... Oh, it's a her. I was going to call him Fred, because it's got a red flower. Oh, the move relearn. You're right. That's a thing I haven't even bothered looking at. Hello, Exarion. Um, I'm going to just call her Flo. So how do we do the move relearn thing? And hello, hello. I'm imagining it's just through the summary. Uh, change nickname, markings, held item. Is the move list. Rearrange moves. Oh, hey, change moves. Use TMs to learn move. Remember moves for, remember move. Poison tail. These kind of suck. But it's better than tackle. Better. And Fudge is a, a poison terrestrial type as well, so it works. So, what's this? Use TMs to learn move. It just okay takes us to here. That's fine. Right, moving on. That's a Shrewdle. See, part of me is like, do I catch these Pokemon and level them up to evolve them, or do I just wait until later on in the game where I can catch their evolved forms? Pikachu! Fudge, I need you. Plum, I do. Now, I still prefer Quagsire. But this is Clodsire. And he is also baby. He's just not as baby as Quagsire. Very good. We should just be able to Pokeball it. He does look like a little whale. I like that he's a horizontal Quagsire rather than vertical. <laughs> Stupid as it sounds. Stop using electric moves, you dum dum. Alright, let's put it to sleep. Clodsire body pillow plush. He's just he's just naturally splooting. You know when cats go sploot? That's just how, how Clodsire exists. He's just a splooter. Which sounds dirty, but it's not, right? Leave him alone. Pikachu was caught. Hey, Toad's cool leveled up. Flappy wants to learn Screech. Flappy says no. But Dazza says no to Flappy. When it's angered, it immediately discharges the energy stored in patches in its cheeks. We're going to call this guy Ketchum from the anime. And there's another one. Clodsire is dirty. Pikachu. Well done, guys. You know what, though? We can now see it in action. Pikachu doesn't yell Pika Pika in the game anymore, which is awesome. I'm so glad they gave his original cry back. Stop using double team. Don't be a jerk. Get mud slapped. Thank you. Oh man, seeing those poison spikes come up from from Clods are kind of weird. Don't know if I like it. It's fine though, he's okay. He baby, remember? These little chunks just hanging around. Yeah, every time I've caught a Pokemon that I've already got registered, it looks like it's an, uh, a double shake rather than a, 
a quadruple check. Who wants to learn Poison Jab? Oh! 80 power? Yeah, I'll take it. Clotso's ground, so he's dirty. I mean, he kind of is. I mean, I imagine it's kind of like, kind of like owning a Dashund, right? Or a Sausage Dog. Um, you know, always dragging it along the ground. The belly. It's gonna be annoying. Sorry, Stuart. I have to get rid of you. Ooh, hello. Please leave me alone. I'll set my Clod's eye on you. Now, I'm pretty certain... Looks like he's walking backwards. It, it is kind of weird that he's got, like, the wider part at the front, and then at the back is the, uh, the skinny bit. But oh well. Oh! The OG cry. True, Ozzy. Oh, what? So he's weak to water. He's weak to ice now. So ice used to be neutral to Quagsire because of the part water type, but now I guess it's, it's super effective to ice. Uh, its tail just charges electricity into the ground, protecting it from getting shocked. Uh, I guess he's weak to psychic now. Mine isn't weak to water, that's true. It just means that Clodzire with Water Absorb actually has some really interesting terrestrial uh, options. Alright, let's go put these guys away. There we go. Uh, and let's get... Uh, let's get Jack back. Not Jack Black, Jack back. Okay. I do want to go and grab myself a Wiglet. So, let's uh, jump on into the map. There's Pinecone around here. And Kamola. Com uh, let's go back to this. This is really... Wait. Secluded Beach is a flying spot? What did I find here? That was worth flying to. Just the sign. Ah, Gyarados. All right, let's find us a Wiglet. I need a water type. There's one. Plan. Plan of action. I need pour me back. Fudge, you wait in the the back. Dun 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 dun. Don't look at me. Don't look at me, Wigglet. No. How you gonna how you gonna sneak up on these guys? Just like that. No. Okay, that little guy's poking out. Weasel, leave me alone, buddy. Trying, I'm, I'm hunting Wiglets. No! <laughs> Stupid Wiglet! He's weak to ground too because of poison, true. And ground is quite common. Flying type, Clod Sire? Got it. Would a flying type Clod Sire be cool? No one's going to try thinking of hitting him with an electric type move because he's part ground. Okay, that did a good chunk of damage. Gooey. Pikami's speed fell. Interesting. Um, let's just use a dive ball because it's water type. Be very, very quiet. 
he's hunting Wiglet. All right, we got a Wiglet. And I do want to keep one of the... I was actually tempted to run a Wiglet on my team. As soon as I saw it and people were like, you Wiglet? I was like, no. Poor Wiglet. Leave him alone. Wait, didn't someone say that... Young Goose, or whatever whatever the Pokemon is, evolves at level 20? The Guard Neil Pokemon. This Pokemon can pick up the scent of a Veluza. I don't even know what that is, but that's a spoiler. Just over 65 feet away, and will hide itself in sand. Alright. Uh, this guy is going to be called Wiglet, the guard Neo Pokemon. I don't want to call him Wiggles, because I think we've already got a Wiggles. Is that the pre-evolution of Kezu? Oh my god. <laughs> we got a Monster Hunter player over here. If it says it's rare in the Pokedex, is it rare? Um, I don't know. I don't think I've seen a Pokedex entry that says it's rare. Ban the game for giving spoilers. To me forever to catch Wiglet. It's a bit of a nightmare, Zardra, isn't it? I'm gonna call him Wriggles, because that's different to Wiggles. And we need him. I won't say anymore. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We unlocked the Pokedex entry that's next to it. Where was it? This sucks. Is it like 200 and something? Please tell me it evolves into Wig Trio. <laughs> Wiglet, 289. Is someone flipping the bird? Like, lives on beaches, hide in rocks when spotted. That's got to be an evolution. Lives on beaches, hides in rocks when spotted. It's got to evolve. Also, it's got habitat data. We, wait, we have that area unlocked. We can go to that area, can't we? Weren't we right there? Or were we not? No, that's the big town. We can probably go there. Oh, do I? I think I do. Right, uh, Y button. So like a tulip coral. Oh, God. I want that Pokemon! I don't want a Gyarados! Okay. Off we pop. Yeah, it's- okay, so it's on like this section here, so maybe I can't get to it yet. Alright, let's go take on the Team Star thing. Now that I've got two ground types and a water type. Gang signs. Magikarp is beached. Haha, <laughs> sucker! I feel like we're making good progress in the Pokedex. I'm not really catching many new things, but I'm trying to focus on the evolutions. Actually, how, how good are we doing in the Pokedex? Minus button. Click. X. 47. Okay. Yeah, 47 caught, 76 seen. Right. Uh, Clodsire, I need you back, buddy. Hey, Red Nismo, what's up? How we doing? Uh, let's get rid of Jack. So we have Clodsire, Toad's, Toad's Cool, and Wiglet. We're literally heading in with variations of already known Pokemon. It's a murder of Murkrow. Through we go. Oh, Cyclazar! I want it. It's Dragon Normal, isn't it? All right, Cyclazar, go sleep. How do we get the Rotom cases from the previous games? Um, in Mesa Goza, um, if you go right down the middle of all the staircases, there's like one of the plateaus of between a staircase has uh, someone on it with uh, which will give it to you. Let's poison the poisonly jab it. Pretty good, you? Yeah, I'm great. I'm playing Pokemon. 
So I'm having a blast. Oh, I got poisoned. Fine out loud. Okay. <sighs> You're welcome. Well, at least it's a status condition. Helps us catch it. Let's uh, Pokeball it. Come on, Dragon type. Ba -ba -da -ba. Very good, Smoliv. Very good. I wonder if you evolve with a Leaf Stone. Apparently, Cyclical Tsar has been allowing people to ride on its back since ancient times. The pictures of this have been found in 10,000 year old murals. And we're gonna call him. Oh, oh sorry, her. Drifter. Because that's fun. You played Stardew recently? No, not recently. Last time I played Stardew was in the, in the summer. Um, but I do want to... That's a Pokemon. I do want to start playing it again soon. Um, I think once the hype dies down a little bit on Pokemon, I'm going to be running Pokemon alongside... Um, alongside uh, Stardew Valley. Going to be doing crowd control. So you guys will be able to affect what happens in the stream. Why can't I get away? You guys will be able to affect what happens in the stream. So that should be fun. Okay, I get it. Yep, you hit me three times. No, so Deerling have four different forms based on the season. So I'm not quite sure how they handle it in this game, but they have a spring, summer, fall, and winter season. Or winter uh, version. And it's dead. Should've just done that from the start. Oh, is it area dependent? That would make sense, actually, considering this game's kind of based on cardinal dire directions. What is that? Oh, it's a dealing. <laughs> like, what is this weird green Pokemon? You got an adorable spring dealing, the, the pink ones. Sawbuck's winter form is pretty, yeah. That, honestly, I, I think it's a super cool um, thing that they did with the, the seasons back in Gen 5. I, I They always bring out cool gimmicks for some games, and then they never bring the gimmicks back. Is that... Is that Rayquaza? Rayquaza? Oh, oh, it's gone, never mind. They're on to us. Tauros. Ignore them. Keep your eyes peeled for shinies. Can't let Callum beat us. No more legendaries, only adverts. That's a Gyarados? No. Surely not. Oh, hi, Cyclazar. Bye, Cyclazar. Got some Lechonks and some Dealing. Corviknight and Corvusquire. Uh, I got a pink one and it nearly killed my poor dude. <laughs> Roto to to to. Cassiopeia here. I see you're getting close to one of the Team Stars base. So this means you've decided to join my operation. That's right, Meowth. The laughing cow is. Oh my goodness, it is. Thank you. With this, you're officially a member of Operation Starfall. Hold on a second. Uh oh. Who is this? Oh my god. What the. He has a wig on. It's Clavel with a wig on. Does this Operation Starfall of yours have room for one more member? What? Who are you? The name's Clive. How long have you been spying on us? No need to get your hackles raised. 
Please, sir, this is a family-friendly stream. I'm a pal of our mutual friend here, isn't that right, Dazza? They're not pals. Ah, shy as ever, I see. Talk about going up against Team Star here, it's not something you can join for fun. Well aware, I just need to sort out some unsettled business with Team Star, that's all. Besides, you tend to get a job done well. I tend to get a job done well. Not that you can take my word for it, but it's true. No wonder he's asked in the office about slang words, he is. I suppose I'm hardly in position to refuse help. Welcome to the operation, Clive. Great, that settles it then. I think I heard your name earlier. Cassiopeia, was it? Who exactly are you? The Johnny Bravo. <laughs> Team Star and I share some history. That's all I say for now. I see, in that case, I won't press you further. Good. Now back to business. Let's talk Operation Starfall. Yes, what would you have us do? Talk to him to teach that outside class, that way his convos are. That's kind of funny. If you visit people in school and take classes. I should go back and do that, shouldn't I? <laughs> Simply put, I want you to raid each one of Team Star's bases. Then you'll defeat the boss of the team and put an end to their rule. Put an end to their rule? You mean we need to oust these bosses from their roles somehow? That's right. Team Star is made up of five squads, and each of those squads has its own base. You should be able to see the front gates of one of those bases now, in fact. Ah, yes. I can see them over there. The other side of those is the base proper. Somewhere within the base lies one of your targets, a squad boss. Eliminate them, and bring me them alive. Wait, what? I'm starting to get the idea. Well, that's just the outline. The key to the whole operation is the code that the team has to follow. Someone challenges one of the squad bosses to a battle they have no choice but to accept. And what's more, if they just so happen to lose that battle, they must forfeit their role as a boss altogether. I went ahead and issued challenges to each base under your name. They're basically declarations of war. Oh, God. Whatever happened to Advanced Wars Reboot Camp? Still waiting on that. Now all of the Team Star knows that we're looking for a fight. So let's say we defeat all the bosses and they step down from their roles. What happens next? Well, that, that means I become the Supreme Overlord of Team Star. Duh. The rest of the team crumbles with no one left to lead them. No one left to lead them. It's a solid plan, but not without wrinkles. Each base has a bunch of Pokemon inside to fend off the intruders, and the base themselves are considerable sizes. Your garden variety trainer would be overrun long before they get anywhere near the boss. That's why, uh, that's why your skills are essential to this operation, Dazza. Defeat the Pokemon inside the base and drag out the boss out from where they're hiding. First things first, though, you'll need to deal with the grunts that might be guarding the front gates. And what will you be doing in the meantime? Like I said before, I have a history with Team Star. Means I can't operate out in the open. I'll back you up from afar. Alright, and what will my role be? Seek and destroy. Enemies within the compound. Uh, compound, sorry. Sorry, but I don't trust you completely just yet. For now, I'd like you to just monitor the bases and act as Daz's support. You're a cautious one. Alright, I respect that. I'll be in touch again when the plan advances to the next stage. Good luck hunting out there. Oh god. Rightio. Wait, did I miss... Did I miss Teach gifting a sub to Tudor? <laughs> well, go get him, Dazza. Director Clavel? I have no idea who you, what you mean, but if anyone asks you about me, remember this. I'm Clive, a normal academy student just like you. Nothing more, nothing less. They don't even try and hide it. Hi. Time for a fight? Video game? Thank you. Whoa, whoa, you can't be here. This base belongs to Team Star. Don't clear out real quick. I'll have to come at you in self-defense. You get me? I'm not turning back. I think you acknowledged it. I think I acknowledged it, but did I... I didn't realize it was... I, I don't recall it being Tish. I think I may have said someone else's name instead. The oldest academy student I've ever seen. Yeah, the white chin hair gave it away, really, didn't it? Well, all right. Time to self-defense the snot right out of you. Okay. Let's go! At least they have a banger of a team tune. 
All right, Fudge, I believe in you. Also, hate Team Star. Kiss hug. <laughs> I need to go to the store and I don't wanna. Honestly, same. It's probably gonna be the reason why I stopped streaming uh, earlier than I want to, is because I need to go to the supermarket. I'm, I'm nearly out of water. Uh, this star had two lines. Yesterday, star people only did one line. This star had two lines. Oh wait, what happened? Why, why is Flappy here? No, Flappy, go back. Go, go Wriggles. Flappy doesn't have any, have any ground type moves. Hey, how many Pokemon's in this deck? I actually don't know, Braz. Um, you might want to Google it. I, I don't want to know either because I want it to be a surprise to myself. Oh, it used Raw. Okay. So yeah, I'm afraid that's one that you're gonna have to Google because I want to. Uh, I want to keep that as a surprise for myself possible. Or if someone knows and wouldn't mind DMing Braz the answer. Okay, can, can you please let me have my wiggles? Thank you. You mean when, when they did like the star thing with their hands, Tokyo-chan? Oh my god, that wasn't very effective. Aqua Jet. Meow. I love it. Music. The hands. I didn't see it. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I have to go look back in the VOD. Gum Gum wants to learn the move Bite. Okay, you can learn Bite. You can learn Bite instead of Sand Attack. 1 2 and Tada. I need to heal up. Defending myself alright, but it wasn't enough. Yeah, give me your money. Man, you're crazy strong. Wait, are you that kid who declared war on Team Star? Call me Dazza. <laughs> Whoa, thanks for the terrible news. Excuse me while I book it back to the rest of my crew. Hasta la vista. He looks like he just really needs to take a poop. Hey, Dazza. Please heal me. Cassiopeia told me to scope out the fire crew's base. I thought I'd give you some backup now that I'm through. Seems like you're all set. Foo foom! What? Oh! It's Charcadet. Is that you? Charlos? Foo. Thought so. What are you doing here? Do you know this little fella? This is Charlos, the Charcadet. Foom! He's one of the Pokemon the Academy takes care of within its grounds. Foo! Ah, Charlos! Wait! Am I meant to be calling him Charlos? Should I be calling him Carlos? It looks like he may have some connection to Team Star's fire crew. Better chase after him. Don't worry, I'll regroup with you soon enough. You press ahead in the base, Dazza. Absolutely! So you dealt with the grunt standing guard. Nice work. Stationed inside that base of Team Star's fire crew. There's the Shkida, 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 the the Shida squad. Yeah. Mhm. Mm Their boss Mela is the best all rounder of the team. She fixes any and every problem thrown her way. Through her, uh, though her methods are heavy handed. Our declaration of war must have made her blood boil. But even now, her grunts are hard at work into this... Out of the two so far, this storyline has the most talking. Trying to keep her fury... I said... I thought that said furry. Trying to keep her furry under control. Oh god, that's a bad problem to have. Jeez. And calm down. What a weird group. That means your best move is to take down all of the grunts nice and quick. Once there's no one left to help Mila keep her cool, she should come out to confront you. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Shkida squad off the map. I know, girls. I just want to go in there and kick some booty. Wait, that's not what I wanted to do. 
Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, one second. Look, I know this is important, but my team needs healing. I have to check every single Pokemon now. <laughs> Gotta get shiny. <laughs> Caught a glimpse of the green in the hop up, and it was Skip Loom again. Wee. Gotta go faster, faster. Screw it. Hello, I need to heal up. Thank you. And you, sir, with the shorts, go change your pants. You look questionable. Mm -hmm. There's something a bit weird about an old man disguised himself as a school kid. <laughs> Don't you think? Cyclozar, no! Leave me alone! All right, let's ring on, the, ring the bell, and let's go in. Ding dong. He's in the first three Pokemon in your party. Yes. Seconds out. Round one. <laughs> let's go, Quadza. Careful now, Dazza. Team Star has a unique way of doing battle. They call it Star Barrage. To get through it, you'll need to use the R button to send out multiple Pokemon and have them battle at the same time. Pokemon get low on health, come back here and I'll heal them up for you. The grunts you'll be facing will heal up their Pokemon too, so stay sharp out there. You should see how Mila walks. I mean, I like her boots though. Heads up gang, some jumped up kid has wandered in here thinking he can raid our base. Clearly he doesn't know who he's messing with. Let's teach him a lesson he won't forget. To our unwanted guest, if you can defeat 30 of our Pokemon in the next 10 minutes, our boss might just honor you with an appearance. Watch me do it in two. Send, them the, uh, send your Pokemon out with the R button to try and defeat a set number of Team Star's Pokemon before the time runs out. We've taken on a challenge of Star Barrage. You can have three Pokemon out at the same time. You lose in Star Barrage if all your Pokemon get too worn out of battle or if time runs out. If your Pokemon can have no uh, can no longer battle, you can help it recover using the vending machine. So you want to give up before the time runs out, press the Y button. Nah, 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 I got this. Love her boots, but bestie can he walk in them. I probably wouldn't be able to walk in them either, I'll be honest. Go, Flappy! W Wiglet, what are you doing, Wiglet? Oh my god. Go, Wiglet! Go, Clotzai! Go, Flapple, or Flappy. No, where are you going? Go get the Nummel! Go, 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 go! Okay, Wiglet is terrible at this. Wiglet is so bad at this. Go, Wiglet! Go on, Wiggles! Or Wriggles, sorry. Go on, take him out. Murdered them. Or Nummel. I like this, this is fun. Alright, Flappy needs healing. Can I heal Flappy? No, I gotta get to a vending machine. Where's a vending machine? Some Hound Hour. You know what? I'm just gonna let Wriggles take care of them. Some more Hound Hour over here. Oh, vending machine! Let's go! Oh, okay. <laughs> Did it not cost me anything? 23 out of 30. This was meant to be difficult. <laughs> Alright, Wriggles. Go take out the Hound Hour. Got some more over here. Honestly, like, Flappy's been the... <laughs> Flappy's been the, the star of it. We did it in 1 minute 40 seconds. 10 minutes to do it, you are quick. Absolutely slaying. Hello, Alp. Wriggles is trying his best. <laughs> no, I love him. I love him, Alp. Don't worry. I also, I got another Pokemon, which I've called Flappy because of its Pokedex entry, which uh, I'm super happy with. I think you'll love him, or you'll hate him. The defense is a breach. It's up to the boss now. You get an extra Pokemon taken down.
Someone's compensating. <laughs> Boss of Team Star's fire crew, Mela. Mela? So you're the dope who picked a fight with Team Star. I don't know why you do something so stupid. I don't care. You challenged us, so we'll beat you down. That's all there is to it. Prepare to get messed up. Go to school. I got 31 out of 30. It's because I'm a legend. Calm down. Right here, right now, you're going down. Sunlight turned harsh. We got drought. Oh, if only. Uh, she's got two Pokemon. I'm going to mud shot it. This move will torture you like there ain't nothing but Ash left. We don't care about Ash. Flame wheel. Pfft. Huh? What level is it? Do we not? I was a critical hit, but it's level 27. Oh. Oh. Oh, this could be a problem. I've got a plan. As long as I can survive. Oh, this isn't going to work. Water's weakened. Oh, fire's powered up. Hush sunlight for three more turns. Well then, my plan was to terrestrialize an aqua jet. I'm just going to do it anyway. Uh, and hope that I can just use the extra water power to take it out, but I've got a feeling this is going to do diddly squat. Yeah, the harsh sunlight, yeah. Completely forgot about that. That's a dum-dum. In the space on Spain, I'll see. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> that did nothing! <laughs> Poor Riggles! No! Alright, not my finest moment, I'll be honest. Um, I might lose this. Taken out by a Torkoal. A really fast Torkoal as well. Oh, I'm faster. We did lower its speed by one stage. By two stages now, I guess. Yeah, the Flame Wheel? It's gonna wreck me, man. I'm gonna have to get some revives in. Got me with a harsh sunlight too? Yes, it's tough. Especially when my other Pokemon are super weak. Like, I got Flappy. But, I guess if I can hit it with a supersonic. Mycelium might. This Pokemon will always act more slowly when using status moves. But these moves will be unimpeded by ability or the target. Well, we're gonna get wrecked if we get hit by a. Yeah, that's not gonna work at all. You're gonna have to send out Bagel. By the Eurovision Axe, that would be glorious. All I can think of is by slapping it with some tail whips. And then hitting it with some type of physical move once the sunlight runs out. Now does clear smog... It says all stat changes are eliminated. Does it... Oh, there we go. Does it also include theirs? No. Good to know. Keep slapping it with Tail Whip. This was my plan all along. Ah. Woof. At some point I need to revive um, Clod's Eye. Fudge. Hit it with a leer. Toasted bagel. <laughs> it didn't evolve. This is this is risky. This is really risky. Um, we've now down to grass type Pokemon. 
Right, okay, I've lowered its defense by a bunch of state, but she's still got another Pokemon left. So let's go for... I got 17 revives? Are you kidding me? Flame wheel, this is gonna hit hard. Super effective. I guess being grass and ground type didn't really help it out, did it? Alright, Clodzai. It's up to you, buddy. Yeah, that's sunlight, man. That's a killer. Ooh. We should just be able to mud shot it. Is it special attack? Is that why? <laughs> Please don't die. Thank you. Don't burn. Is it special attack? It is. I'm a big dum dum. All right, no one saw that. That never happened. Hello, Jam. How you doing? Please don't heal. It's raining. Now's my chance. It still did so much damage. Why did it do so much damage in the rain? Critical hit, of course. Revavroom? Ugh, I ain't burned to a crisp just yet. It's the car Pokemon. The Shader Starmobile, level 26. Super effective, okay. Blazing Talk. Rude. We're fighting a car. What? Well, you see, I kind of knew that there is a Pokemon to do with the car because it's, they show it's like tongue coming out of the, the top of the spiky bit of the vent in one of the pictures of it. But we've lost this. I, I can't win this. Overheat? Oh my god. Yeah, I lost. I, I couldn't win that. Hmm. Why did Clodzai do no damage? I was overwhelmed by my defeat. Rip Smoliv? Yeah. I, I'm gonna have to go get stronger Pokemon. Oh, you've not seen the pictures? Ah, fair enough. <laughs> did they defeat the Houndour? Did did they? You don't say. Um, where's the Pokedex entry for this Veravoom? Oh, we didn't get one. Recently battled Pokemon. It's not on there. No Veravoom. Hmm. Grimstyle's in the game, apparently. What is that? Lives in deserts, lives in the East Provinces Area 3. Sensitive to sound. Interesting. Um. I don't know if I can take that guy on again. That sunlight wrecked me. I don't think I've got anything that can um, that can stand up to that. Unless maybe I use Bub. And just eat the fire type attacks until the, the sun's out. Maybe some para uh, paralysis with Pormy. Only level 20. I've got to level up. I've got to level up. Can Bubble learn ground type moves? That is a fantastical idea. Let's have a look. Probably got a TM he can learn or something. Uh, moves. Remember moves. Nothing in there. Uh, let's take a look. I, last I looked at TMs, I only had one that was available to me that was ground type. Mud Slap, which is only power 20. They can learn it. 
Uh, what about better... What about like a rock type move? Where's rock typing? Is that rock? Sandstorm or rock blast? Those are both also terrible. Hmm. I'm just gonna have to level up first, I think. That was, uh, that was rough. The, uh, the weather didn't help. That's for sure. I feel like fudge just... Yeah, we just need to be stronger. We just need to be high level. We'll do some, we'll do some, uh, leveling up. Mud slap saved you? Really? I guess lowered accuracy is kind of nice. If I put mud slap on a fast Pokemon, that could help. Let's try it. Let's give it a go. And we'll try, like, paralysis as well. Do I have to do the, um... The fighting bit again? Riggles was terrible. I'll be honest. Riggles was the worst Pokemon on the team. Oh, I can't... Can I make mud slap? Can I teach mud slap? How many should I make? Just the one. Got plenty of Wooper Slime. Yeah, I'd like to have it learn it. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to teach it to Bub. Because Bub's fast. That's why. Get rid of Leer. I think that was the thing as well. I could have done some more damage to that Torkoal. But my plan was to lower its um, physical attack. And then... Um, and then hit it with like... A, a ground type move that was going to do a bunch of damage. But then I found out that... Budshot is the wrong type of physical move. Ah, uh, it's fine. Just wait until we learn Earthquake. Cyclozar, no. Alright, let's give it another go. I'm a glutton for punishment. Do you want to challenge the boss of Team Starbase again? Okay, so we just go straight to the boss fight. Oh, uh, about Earthquake. Uh, it was just a comment in passing. I assumed being a ground type Pokemon, it learns it at some point. Okay, can I skip this? Have you seen it? No. That's fine. I did pick a fight with Team Scar. That's Tar. I keep trying to call them Team Scar. It's not their name. Alright, take two. We got this. Yeah, the music is an absolute bop. So it's got that going for it. We get to listen to the music again. <laughs> and if Bob stays alive, we can hit it with some fire type moves. Gen 10, there'll be Team Scar, probably. I wouldn't be surprised at this point. Uh, if I can keep Bub alive for taking on the car, that would be Poggers and Coggers. Oh, this thing in her silly, silly boots. No, her boots are... Wait, what was that move? Clear smog. That was the rest of the Skeeter squad. Skeeter. Sh Alright, just keep mud slapping. You're fine. You got this, Bob. I believe in you. I'm in my mum's car. Vroom, vroom. Stop clear smogging me. You're meant to have low uh, accuracy right now. Stop doing it. Stop attacking me. Three, three accuracy drops. Three accuracy drops, and it's like <laughs> nah. What do you mean? Stop! Get mud slapped. Four accuracy drops. I know it says all stat eliminate or all stat changes have been eliminated. But it doesn't count for them, it counts for me. We're getting there. Does clear, clear smog never 
miss or something? Uh, am I... Am I missing something here? Am I missing something? I must be missing something here. He's gonna run out of clear smog pee pee in a minute. It always hits. I hate my life. <laughs> Thank you, Nether. Clear smog bypasses accuracy checks to always hit, unless the target is the semi invulnerable turn of moves such as dig or fly. Don't laugh at the word pee pee. You're not a child. Alright, let's take on the car. Ain't burned to a crisp just yet. Alright, let's see what this thing can do to, uh. to Bob. First of all, let's heal us up to full health. We've got our full team with us this time, so that helps. Bob was the answer. Not child, have you met us? Is it fire steel? I uh, know, but it's got speed boost. It's annoying me. Uh, mud is mud slap is super effective. Incinerate. It's weird that we get given the the moves that are super effective. Let's see if we can figure this out. So super effective is incinerate isn't very effective. Which surprises me. Ground is. And water is. Is that a rock type? Is it, no, it must be fire type then. Must be part fire type. It's weird that it's telling me what's super effective and what isn't, even though I don't have it in the Pokedex. Is the car the new Eevee? Because <laughs> uh, when Pokemon is using a Terra type, it's only weak to things that Terra type is. Is it technically. Is this a form of terrestrialization for it? It's technically a fire type. Because we're in Team Flare's base. Right. I That completely whooshed over me that that was a thing. <laughs> Using Swift. Smart. Because I lowered its, uh, its accuracy. Okay. So we've now run out of Mud Slap. Yeah, it's a pure fire type because it's Team Flare's base. That makes sense. Uh, what does round do again? I was use this move. They were like to me. Okay, no, that's that's not not helpful. Hmm. We could we could paralyze it and then just whittle it down with some thunder shocks. It's gonna be fast though. Can we even paralyze it when it's a big car health bar? I can't believe we're fighting a car. This is so dumb. I hate greeting me too. Don't worry, me too, Tudor. Swift. It's a good thing as well that it used um Yeah, we can't paralyze it. That sucks. It's a good thing that it used um It used uh, Overheat to begin with. Blazing Torque. Alright. Avoided the attack. Let's go. Schmack. Schmack. This is going to take forever. Schmack. 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 Okay. This is fine. Another blazing talk, that time it hit, and it KO'd. Alright, that was rude. Alright, let's do it. Let's send out Wriggles. Alright, last time you weren't that impressive, buddy. Let's go with a Terra-type Water Pulse. 
Hey, vending machine back there. Can I get some heals, please? Oh, you look majestic. Look at your little hat. Oh. Oh. So proud of you. Don't die. You screech. Okay. Special defense. R uh, physical defense. All right. That's fine. At least we can get one water pulse off. Did nothing. I didn't didn't confuse it, but let's just keep hitting with the um the aqua jet. Just because it's priority. We at least get to hit it. It's doing something. And we're dead. Avoided the attack. One absolute legend. If we win using this stupid guard kneel, then well it's it's deserved, to be honest. Oh my goodness. Riggles is just popping into the ground as this thing's trying to drive over it. Riggles, you are a legend. This Pokemon deserves a, a a room in the Hall of Fame all to itself. Forget a painting on the wall. Just the, the Riggles room. The true MVP. Yeah, look at it go. His little watery crown. Schmacking this thing to smithereens. Oh, it's dead. Oh, no. Tanked it like a boss. It's only got 42 hit points. <laughs> Come on, you got this, Riggles. Come on, Riggles. Two more. Ah, uh, no, you're dead. Nice knowing you. The car, the Pokemon, I feel like I'm missing something here. No, it's like... So, on the side, it, whenever some, some, like, stat changes... Like, because when it was, um... When it was... When its ability was getting uh, used, it's, um... It showed, like, its true form, I guess? So I feel like the car is built on top of the Pokémon. Um, I'll see if I can find it in the Pokédex, because... It, I think it's clearly going into my Pokédex. Mud shot. Oh, nearly. Rev of Rune. Speed boost, there you go, look, you can... Oh, I missed it. Oh, wait, hold on. Aha! The genius. Unless we see it now. Oh, oh, oh. Oh no. Good job, Fudge. Is this how it's really going to be? Uh, how it's going to end? What a hassle. Yeah, that's right. Your squad belongs to me now. We did it! Oh god. About half a year ago. Man, what a hassle. Pulled it off just in time. What the? Okay, I see what you mean about how she walks. Welcome back, Melly. Are these all the uh, the team leaders? That looks awfully like the girl with the Eevee backpack. I managed to get a bunch of Charcadet to evolve. It ought to be enough to power the Starmobile and finally get that hunk of metal rolling. Glad tidings indeed, is it not, Ortega? I'm surprised she's not all hot air. Oh, shut it with the snide comments. You can be such an annoying twerp, you know that? Oh, it's Jesse. Okay. Good boy, Fudge, right? As if you're any better, Mella. Being rude and saying mo uh, mean things is literally your whole deal. That's not true, Orty. The girls, uh, the girls at the academy have always been jealous of how cute Melly is. She just puts on a surly attitude so they stop picking on her. Though I guess you're not wrong to say that her surly attitude is what people know her for. What? Come on. Not you too, Eri. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that name. How about we leave it at that, folks? It's almost time for the big event. Yes, Operation Star. It's finally happening. The big boss? What? Prey? Is their plan? They already got in touch with their with all the bullies and ask them to head on over to the schoolyard. It's finally time, huh? Man, I'm so stoked. Thrills burning me up. Oh, I wonder who the big boss is now. Interesting. I burned through everything I had. Now I've spotted out. Guess this is where it ends. The crocolore of yours. Really let us have it. Kind of. Okay, what is she doing? Beating me in battle is a huge deal, so here, take this star badge and be proud of yourself. Why is she so happy that she lost? Okay. 
So how many quest things have you done? This is my third. We've done one of each now. Well, I'm at it. You can have this TM too. Not like I'm going to use it. Flame charge. Green needle. Did you use like Incharaf? Giacomo? Giacomo? Let me make one thing clear. I'm not giving these to you. I'm giving them to your Crocolore. You got what you came for. Now leave me alone. You're Mela from Team Star, right? There's a Pokemon I'd like you to see. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? Foo! A Charka there? Wait! Foo Foom! Well, if it isn't Charles, what are you doing here? Seems he came to this base looking for you. Foo! You did? He's very attached to you, isn't he? Yeah, because I used to play with him every day back when I was still going to school. You can even tell more or less what he's thinking just by looking at the way his flames move. Do you have any idea why Charlos wanted to visit you? Foo foo! Foo foo! I get it, foo foo! We understand, Charlos. To me, it looks like he's saying that he wants, to, uh, wants you to come back. Just shut it already, would you? The same team star has holed itself up in these bases to plot something against the academy. Are you aware of this? First I've heard of a stupid rumor like that. Man, nothing's changed since back then. Everyone's still spouting garbage. What about that modified car you were motoring around in just now? Starmobile? We made that thing a long time ago to help us out with a big fight. We never actually used it against anyone before you two came looking for trouble. We never used it before. What's this about a big fight? You ever heard of Operation Star? No? Uh, not Operation Starfall. No, this is the first time hearing of it. Huh, yeah, I guess you wouldn't know. But for me and the rest of Team Star, it's a memory we'll always treasure. That was rough. And way too much talking. 